Now in physics, there are seven base units, as we call them. So the first one is length, and this is how long things are. And we always measure this in the meter. Now, in the UK, we spell meter M-E-T-R-E, -E, but if you had a meter which was used to measure something, like an ammeter or an odometer, then we'd use M-E-T-E-R. Now, the symbol for this is just little m. We then have mass. Uh, so mass is the amount of stuff that, that's in things, uh, and we measure this in the kilogram, and the kilogram has a symbol little k, little g. And it's important with our symbols to make sure that if they're capital or lowercase letters. We then have time uh, measured in seconds. So if you've been given time in maybe hours or minutes, always convert to seconds. That's a little s for that. We then have electric current. Now the symbol for this is the ampere, although we just always call it the amp, I suppose. And the symbol for that is a capital A. We then start to think about temperature and how hot things are. For this, uh, we often measure in degrees Celsius, because that's what all our thermometers have. But the actual unit that uh, is the base unit for this is called the Kelvin. And the Kelvin scale, uh, one Kelvin is still equal to one degree Celsius, but this one here goes down to absolute zero, and you can't get any colder. And the symbol for that is a capital K. We then have the amount. This one here is more of a chemistry thing, because if you're looking at the amount of different substances, we measure that in the mole. And I suppose the symbol for that is no shorthand, we just use the mole. Uh, and then finally, we have luminosity. So luminosity really is uh, a measure of how bright something is. Uh, and we use the unit, the candela. And this is shortened to CD. However, in GCSE physics, we never use that. We don't even use it at A level. We don't really use the amount, apart from if we're doing any stuff in chemistry, but it's these other ones here uh, that we're going to be using all the time, especially the length, mass, time, and current. And these are what we know as the base units. So we have the equation speed is equal to distance over time. Now, in terms of the units, we measure distance in metres and time in seconds. And when it comes to looking at the unit for speed, what we then have is a derived unit. It's derived from a couple of base units. And what we're looking at then is the amount of metres that go per second. Now, we don't write it as m over s. What we do instead is we write it as m slash s. OK, so this then stands for metres per second. Now, there are other derived units as well. For example, if we're looking at acceleration, we're looking at the amount of metres per second per second. And we write this as metres per second squared. It might be we're looking at density, and then we're looking at kilograms per cubic metre. So what we have here are derived units which are made up from some of the seven base units.